hello friends welcome to my channel and in the previous video we have seen like uh, how the spoke to spoke communication was in phase 2 okay so first few uh, nhrp request packets were going from hub to the spoke and after that there was a direct communication between spoke 1 and spoke 2 but it was creating lot of cpu utilization overhead on hub because if we imagine like if you have more than 500 routers then it will be very difficult for a hub to manage all the traffic so we are going to see in this video that how phase 3 works okay and we are going to enable ipsec as well to understand how security plays a role in DMVPN okay so I'll request you to watch this video till the end so that you can understand how the wh what is the concept behind uh, phase 3 as well as if we turn on the VPN security at the IP6 security what will happen so and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload any video you'll no get notification without any further delay let's get started so friends uh, we are going to jump into the lab okay uh, during the lab session I'll, I'll uh, explain you uh, what all things are happening so that you can understand very easily if we try to understand uh, if I try to uh, tell you now uh, the like the understanding will not be that much uh, uh, I can say you will not be able to understand properly what is happening so it's better I will do uh, the lab during that time I'll explain you okay so first of all uh, we are going to configure the IPsec policies over here. So, crypto Isaac M policy 10 encryption 3 dash hash md5 group 2 authentication pre shared crypto key. So address crypto Isaac M key Cisco address zero. so I, I just wanted to tell you don't put zero dot zero dot zero dot zero because uh, it actually uh, negotiate with all the uh, peers with this password so it's better to give an IP address that will be very much uh, proper for a troubleshooting purpose as well so do show run section crypto so we'll go to config mode config mode okay now we are going to define transform set T set ESP MD5 ESP okay ESP encryption ESP MD5 okay crypto IPsec profile IPsec set transform set t set children section crypto okay so we'll do the same thing for rest of the devices okay now uh, we are going to 
tunnel configuration and we are shut it down then we'll do the modification and then we'll turn it off turn it on shut down interface tunnel 0 shut down okay so we just need two commands that's it one command on hub and one command on both the spokes and we are going to remove one more command okay so first what on the hub side we need to tell IP NHRP redirect okay on spokes IP NHRP shortcut the same on spoke 2 as well so IP NHRP shortcut and we are going to remove IP next hop self EHRP1 so if we see the configuration of interface tunnel 0 it's look fine now to show run interface tunnel 0 this is also fine this is also fine okay now we are going to enable the tunnels no shut now I'll be explaining you why I have put it the command what is the use of that NHRP redirect and NHRP shortcut command okay so now if we see show IP route it says that if you want to go to loop bags of spoke 2 you need to go to 192.168.1.0 because I have removed the IP next hop self uh, where is that mm, we have removed it right now oh, okay so next hop self we have removed it so that is the reason it says you can reach via his tunnel IP address okay now if we are going to see the self entry for this internal it says it is there is no problem we have a MAC address without any process switching it will go now if we do trace route 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 and before that we are going to debug NHRP so that we can understand how the traffic flow so debug IP NHRP okay it's NHRP oh ho oh. so debug IP NHRP no it's NHRP okay and we'll wait for some time and we'll give debug NHRP to this device as well okay now now we when we try to do trace route for 2.2 we are initiating traffic from spoke one to spoke to loop back okay so it has not been started that is the reason you are not seeing any traffic over here okay
So if you see this, first it is going to 1.10. So the first traffic it is going to hub. Then if we try to do now, I guess it will go to it it directs uh, it it directly go to spoke to okay it directly goes to 1.2 okay so what happens like when this guy initiate traffic he has the safe entry so he sent the packet to hub because I was having the routing for this I'll just show you the route here okay so I was having the route the next hub was 1.10 so this guy has initiated the traffic it goes to hub hub because we have configured the redirect command it actually send the redirect message to spoke to that I am not the right person somebody else you need to go what who is the somebody else I'll just show you see attempt to redirect so in the redirect table he sent this message to spoke spoke one okay he sent he he told that I have that you can reach via 1.2 as spoke 1 is not having the NBM address of spoke 2 he sends an NHRP resolution message NHRP resolution request ok and this was the NHRP redirect once he sends the re resolution request he forwards that request to spoke to ok now this spoke to will have all the information what's about spoke one so he forwards all the NBMA and tunnel IP addresses and the ping request to this guy what this guy will do this spoke will initiate a traffic directly to spoke 1 with NHRP reply and the again a new tunnel will get formed and they will start communicating it so in this scenario we are not putting any control plane overhead on hub in turn all the control plane will be calculated <coughs> or managed by the spoke guys, the spoke so he is not doing anything he just send a redirect message he sends a NHRP resolution request he forward that request and the spoke to initiates a new tunnel to spoke one so this is how uh, phase three works okay now uh, we are going to enable the IPsec there is nothing uh, much about it but we are going to enable so only single command first we'll undebug all
on all so now tunnel 0 tunnel 0 okay okay we'll start with hub tunnel protection ipsec profile what was the profile name that we have put it ipsec so ipsec I'll just copy this commands and I'll paste it over to all so once you do that show DM VPN show crypto Isaac MS so you have tunnel for both show crypto Isaac MS show crypto Isaac MS ok now if you are going to see the routes show IP route you are seeing that still 2.2.2.0 is going via 192.168.1.10 if you see small percentage that is next stop override if you try to say this show IP route next stop override you will be able to see that it directly goes to via tunnel IP address of spoke to so it is visible after code 15.2 so I'm running 15.4 before 15.2 it was not visible so you will not be able to say this so now after 15.2 you will be able to see this routes as well So this is how uh, DMVPN phase 3 works ok it has some issues with OSPF that I am going to cover in the next video that what will happen uh, the best suited routing protocol is EIGRP but let's say uh, if we enable OSPF what, wa, wa, what would be the issues that I'm going to cover in this next video so for for now I'm just uh, just uh, uh, for now I just wanted to show these things in this video but in the upcoming video I'm going to show that if we enable OSPF what will happen so I'll request you to please subscribe my channel so that it actually motivates me to make more videos also I'll request you to please if you have any questions please put it on the comment so that I can answer it as soon as possible and I I would like to thank you for seeing my video and I think it may helpful for you